Hello everyone. I feel like I get major echo here. So if you guys can tell me if you can hear me. So I hope that I get the volume fixed compared to last week. I am just going to put my earbud in. <clears throat> And I know I'm a few minutes early, and the reason it's I want to check this out here. So if you can tell me if you can hear me and if the sound is okay. It was a sound of a fan that I couldn't uh, figure that one out yet, okay? So I'm looking there. Okay, some people say you hear me fine. And last week it seemed it was it and miss, and I listened to the replay. I know exactly. Okay, at this end it sounds very good. So I hope that um, it's no echo. I hope it's clear. What happened last week, I had the mic assigned at two places. Oh, I still have my sunglasses. So, perfect. Okay, I'm going to take that out. That's <coughs> uh, funny here. So, awesome. Sound is good. I'm telling you, this live, or it doesn't matter if it's live or video, we, we don't want that the sound is bad. We want it that it's flow nice. And it's, you know what? I am not a pro at this. I learn as I go, and sometimes it's like, what the heck am I doing, you know? Why am I doing this? But then I remind myself, this is my job. Oh, which dog is behind me? Both of them are here, any? See? Granny, can you say hello? Oh, that's Biscuit turn, is it? Granny's sleeping. It's the same color than the bed. Yeah, they're always with me. Right, boys? Are we working tonight? We're working hard, right? Yeah, yeah. So they love coming to work with me. It's bring your dog to work, right? Oh, no. Let me fix this a little bit here. That's pretty good, huh? Okay. Yeah, so... <clears throat> And they are coming to work with me. So I, tonight I'm a little bit excited because we're going to do two cards, okay? Uh, Stamping Up added a new, a, not new product, okay? Added extra selection for celebration. So, um, <coughs> yes, I still have that cough. It's crazy. It's just something right there that just keep itching. So let me bring the picture of uh, the new product that Stamping Up added and then I can share with you um, Okay, because it's product from the annual catalog. I want this to get a bit bigger here. Uh, <clears throat> and from the occasion catalog and tonight it happened that we're going to be using um, the Aspen 3. Oh, I want it. Oh, it's right here. I'll look here, my. Okay.
Okay, <clears throat> I bet now we get sound. When I scroll down, I hit the button. So now it should be back up. Let's hope so. Text your buddy, no sound, it should be good now. Let's see. Let's see if the sound is back. It's back, yeah. So um, my muffin roll, muffin top, when I roll on the side to grab the card, I hit the button and boom, that's what happened. Okay, now I was going with oh, the, the, all the, <coughs> the stuff going on, right? Okay, let me put the camera down. Oh my goodness. Okay, we have to laugh, right? Okay, here it is. Oh, now we got to go. One minute. Hmm. Okay, I got major issue here. One minute. Okay. Now I bet we don't have no sound. Do we have sound now? Testing one, two, three. I hear a sound in the background and that is not normal. Okay. Hmm, now I'm wondering if we do have sound or not. Yes, okay. Okay, the sound is there. I hear an echo, so hopefully you guys don't hear that. I cannot see at all. Um, Okay, now that should be better. Okay, I removed the echo, I think. Awesome. Okay, so here it is. We got the Timber 3D embossing folder. We get the Gingham embossing folder, the Seashell embossing folder, oops, the Brush Metallic uh, paper, the Craft Box, and the silver foil. So everything that I uh, named there with $50, that's, you can choose that. That's on top of what you can choose in the celebration. Exception of, this is back, it was out last week, it's back. This is completely sold out. That is the envelope in the cards. No sound. Sound is back. Okay, awesome. And um, is the dot? Yes, this the three are sold out also. Okay, so that it's on top of the brochure, and then you can choose the dots and spot those two cards that I shared a couple weeks ago. That is the die that I use in the back of this. Okay, and then the you get the daffodil die, and tonight we're going to use the is the aspen tree dies. Okay. Oh, this is coming from here. Well, the whole silly time. We're going to fix her up here. I was thinking it was coming from my device. No, it was coming from my iPad. Ha, huh. okay, now I feel much better. Okay, so let's get jiggy with it. And um, I feel <coughs> I'm all over the place because you know what, the sound, if we don't have sound, it's horrible. And if the sound's not working right, it's horrible also. So this is the one that you can choose for free with Celebration. When you shop online, it, you're going to choose the Celebration at checkout. So you don't even have to know the number, okay? You're going to choose that at checkout 
uh, during checkout, so you don't need number. If you are a demonstrator or if, yeah, you're placing your order under demonstrator site, then verify with the demonstrator site the number because you don't use the number from the catalog because that's going to charge. So for the celebration, you want to use the celebration number. But customer that shop online, when you go at checkout, you don't even have to worry about it because you're going to pick from the celebration at checkout, okay? So this is for $100 with qualify order of $100. You can choose this for free. It is a matching stamp set, but in the free, you just get the dies. This is the matching stamp set, but you're going to see the dies stand out by itself completely. I am not using the, die, the stamp set tonight, okay? Absolutely not using the stamp set, but you can use it. If you're wondering in the catalog, let me show you in the catalog here. <clears throat> And I'm sorry if I cough and keep on uh, trying to get the frog out of my throat. It, I brought it back f uh, with me from uh, Wyoming when I was there, uh, whatever, three weeks. And it's just want to stick around. So I feel good. It's just I get that frog stuck in my throat. So it is on page 46, my friends. And you can see the bird, the branch here, so on. Well, it happened that Aspen 3, it's my favorite tree when I look at the bark. I love all fall tree, like the maple tree and the aspen and all that during fall. But when it comes just to the trunk of the tree, the aspen tree, it's absolutely my favorite. So it was it's going to be easy to work with that. So like I said, I am not using that, but it's the coordination with that, okay? Now, we're going to do two cards tonight because I got, I, <coughs> <coughs> I see a winter card in this, and then I'm seeing like a kind of a Halloween card or a spooky card. Put it that way, a spooky card. I know many of you don't do Halloween, but maybe we're going to call it the spooky card. So, with that being said, we will, I got three pieces of cardstock here. Um, we're going to use vanilla for with the birch tree. I want to have the same size of the layer than uh, uh, the one in the back. So that's going to make it easier, okay? So I'm going to go ahead and cut that at uh, five and a quarter. Mm, I think that, okay, five and a quarter. And I'm going to cut this back at five and a quarter just to make sure that I want it exactly the same because sometimes, you know, you're like one air off and so on. I want to try to have the same, same size. And then I'm going to cut this at four. And I'm going to cut this at four. <coughs> okay. So those two are going to be together. Those two are going to be together. But for my winter one, I'm seeing this in the background here. Is it going to work? I have no clue. But this is um, a glow. Um, a glow, a glow. I'll write a glow, something, a glow. It is my one of my favorite paper. Light, lights a glow. If you want to see bigger, look on page 31 right here. I know it's Christmas. Uh, it can be for many things. You're going to see me using this a lot, okay? That paper, uh, I'm using it a lot. So um, I put the, the link of the supplies in the description, but I'm going to edit, edit it tonight after we're done because I guess what I was planning to do, but you know for sure that uh, sometime it you know, on the fly, I use different things. So I did four by five and a quarter. Okay, they all look good. So now let's remove this. <clears throat> and 
we're going to bring the die cut machine and we're going to cut this. Okay, so you got, oh, I don't need this. You got your platform one, you got your platform two, a clear plate. Well, this is supposed to be a clear plate. Uh, I use it a lot, right? Well, I'm not one that uses a lot, but it's kind of a lot when you look at that. Now we're gonna use one of these. I'm gonna try not to mix them, okay? So, cause like I said, some it's gonna be easier if it's the same. Okay, now I'm going to take this. That look almost like an Easter egg, right? The shape of this. I'm going to put that right there. I'm going to try to center that. And then we're going to roll this in. And I'm doing two cards tonight, so that means we're going to have two winners, okay? Okay, let me bring my trash can. <clears throat> I'm still laughing at when I thought I was hearing echo and it was my iPad that was still on. I'm telling you, sometimes it's just one of those challenge. Okay, so this is done. And you see I get some bits and pieces there. What I do, I just tap this. And now I get two left. So I, you can use the brush or you can use a poker, but I just tap mine and boom, pretty much it's done, right? Okay, now I'm going to scrape this off and we're going to cut one more. So I get that one because I want to do two cards because I get two in my mind and I want to show the variation. Okay. <clears throat> I'm going to put this one on top and roll on, baby. Roll on. Okay, I'm going to just scrape that up. Now I'm going to remove this. And Let me poke this to I always um, <clears throat> like to take right away the paper in the back of the die. And the reason, a lot of time when you grab your die, you don't think of checking the back. Well, if you don't remove the paper in the back and it gets too thick, it will not cut. So just get the habit of removing that right away and life's gonna be much easier. It's just like putting stuff away when you're done, right? Okay, now those three little pieces, it seems no matter what I do, I have to poke them. Oh, one little one there. Okay, now we get that. And tonight, I think to have it a more easy, for, okay, what did I do with the, <coughs> here we go. Okay, now we're going to do one winter and one uh, not winter. I'm going to start with the winter one. So I'm going to go ahead and well, both of them, we're going to do the trees at the same time because the tree is going to be done the same, okay? i just going to put the H in the back there like Halloween or Boo or whatever So, because then I know which paper it go with. Just in case that I'm off. It's just that it don't matter really. It's, it is easier if it's got exactly the same size. So I am using... Um, so soft suede we're going to use soft suede we're going to be using a smoky slate and i get soft succulent and black i need black too black okay let's start with this so for the trees i like to do the 
um, oh, I got early espresso. No, thank you. I want the soft suede. Okay. I like to start with a darker color. So I'm going to go ahead. Hey, hey, you guys are picking on my cutting. Well, I can cut for this because I, I absolutely love birch tree. Okay. Um, I get soft, soft suede. Did I pick soft suede? No. Nope. See, I'm talking too much and don't pay attention. That That's okay. Okay, move that there. I get soft suede. And I'm just going to put a bit here and there. Not a lot of place, just here and there for my birch tree. If it's too much, I should have started on my uh, scrap paper a bit. That's okay. One's going to look better than the other. But by the time I'm done, they're all going to be good. Okay, that is soft sway. Now, I'm going to go ahead and smoky slate. And this is quite a Oh, we're going to fix that in a second. Okay. S smoky slate. You want to keep light. And by the way, uh, I was debating white or vanilla for my uh, base. And it is vanilla. That's exactly right. You guys wouldn't pick on me if you don't love me. That is right. And I like it when you pick on me. I am a true believer in that, Catherine. Uh, uh, Absolutely. I'm good at picking at people, too. Here we go. So you see, I just add a bit of gray and so on. See? So it's not... When you look <clears throat> at a birch tree, you get that silver and you get the brown to where the, uh, uh, the bark start rolling. I absolutely love that. Okay, so now I'm going to leave that like that. And for the winter one, I'm going to do the background in gray, just because. And that one I'm going to use, I didn't think to use that tonight, but I am. I'm going to use, a, um, let me think. <coughs> I'm going to use a blending brush. And it was some black on this here. Mm. You know what? I would need a new blending brush. Okay, I'm using, I'm not using the blending brush. I'm using the dauber. So all the sponging tonight, it's going to be done with the sponger, okay? I'm not, uh, just because I want smaller than the blending brush, and I think this is going to be more controlled. So one thing that you don't see what I'm doing, do you see this hand here? Okay, let me move this a bit. So I'm holding with, because I'm right-handed, and my left hand really hold the trees down. If not, you're going to punch. You can rub that under, and it would shred. So just keep it like, I spread it to keep it flat, okay? I just noticed when I start sponging that it was easy to push that. So just keep it flat with one hand. So this is more like, if you look at the sky in the winter, it's very gray. So I'm going <coughs> to put this more gray. I know that the paper is soft succulent. And it got the gold in it. I wish it would have the silver, though, for but I think the gold's going to go perfect with this. So, and you don't want it all uh, equally, because really, when you think of the sky or the ground, it's all mixed, right? Okay, now that I'm looking at that, I'm switching my mind. That's what it's about. Create on the fly. I'm adding soft succulent. I really want to add soft succulent. So do I have, I don't have a dauber. Hmm, what color is that? You know what? One second, I know where I got more daubers. 
I didn't start my new one yet. Okay, I'm gonna use soft succulent and add that to the paper here. I think that's gonna blend much better. I thought gray for the winter, but I think soft succulent here is gonna be much, much friendlier with that paper. Perfect. Oh, see that? Absolutely. I don't like this here, so we're gonna fix that. I'm gonna put the bottom darker, that's it. Just like the uh, ground would be darker and the sky lighter. So you see, when you do a little oops like this, don't sweat the small stuff, just make it work. Much better. Okay, we're gonna leave that there. Now we're gonna do the, what I think it's gonna be the blue one, okay? So, I'm bringing so saffron. I'm gonna get the plain one. Let's remove this here and this one. Now I wanted a moon and I am using the watercolor shape for the moon. So we're gonna use the big circle. And don't worry, you see some pink there? When you stamp with like <clears throat> melon mambo, cherry cobbler, uh, real red, Poppy Parade, uh, Pixie, not Pixie, what's that new color, Polish Pink. Those colors get such a vivid um, red ink in, it's gonna stain your thing. You could scrub it with many things, I bet, but I, I don't care, it's good. Okay, so we're gonna do a moon. Yes, yes, a moon. And we're gonna put that like this. Uh, maybe I should have my foam under. It worked. So now I'm gonna come here. It's gonna work, but I need my moon on the top here. So what I'm gonna do Really, it's just the corner there. I'm gonna bring this down and I'm just gonna press there. Perfect, I think that's gonna be good. It's some yellow there, we're gonna fix that. Oh, perfect. I need maybe a little, okay, like this. Okay, so you see my bottom piece is going to have to be trimmed there. And I will trim that right now. See, because my moon was not equal. I moved my paper. But that's okay. I'm just going to come here. Before I do that, I want to show you what I'm doing. So if I put it flat together, see, I'm off here. Not much, but enough to bug me. And there too and it should be equally. So I just move my paper that my circle, it's all equally. See, it's equal and it's equal. So now what I'm gonna have to do is trim my paper. and then I'm gonna have to trim a bit here. So this one's gonna be a little bit more tricky when I'm gonna put it, cause it's not equally like I want it, okay? But we're gonna make it work. Okay, now we need a dark sky. So let me bring the black. And first we're gonna do black on this. Now I will use my uh, brush. <coughs> So start on the scrap, come on in, and in motion, circle motion. Don't worry about if it's 
super um, like a flush or smooth because a sky it's not equally you get the, the clouds in it and so on okay now I'm gonna come here now around the moon we're gonna keep that lighter keep that in mind I go on top of the moon that's perfectly fine but I still gonna keep it lighter around that You see, that really looked like a wicked sky, right? I think so. Oh, I got dirty hand there. Okay, I'm going to come here very soft to go on the top of the moon. Because I don't want just that black. So now I have to come here to end just a little bit, okay? Perfect. Okay, let's add more dark. I want more dark here. And we're getting there. I think so. And the reason why I want to keep lighter around the moon, it's because the reflection of the moon. Because if you look in the sky, you're going to see, when you see the moon, it's lighter around it, right? So that's where I'm going with this here. How long we've been stamping? Well, I've been a demonstrator for 20 years. And Ollie celebrated 13, but we were stamping before that, and Ollie was stamping before that. My answer, I've been stamping as long as I've been a demonstrator, because the minute I started stamping, pretty much I joined. But Ollie was way before that, so she's going to reply on that. But I think that we've been friends for 14 years, if I recall correctly. Okay, we're going to leave that just like that, okay? <clears throat> Now, I'm going to bring the other piece, and this one, we have to do black also. See how it's just bring to life? So you see how it looked kind of blah. Really, you want that kind of marble a little bit, so it gives like the sky look. So <clears throat> for this one, if I use my blend, it's going to go more on my trees because it's bigger it's harder to control maybe on a small place so i'm going to use my uh <clears throat> did i put that in black no in um with my dauber okay see how quick this go now see how it wanted to push again so make sure you keep that flat with your hand here This, the sky, the ground, everything's going to be black, like dark. I could add lighter because it's a full moon, absolutely. But I'm going to go ahead with black. And at the moon, I'm going to be careful here and just go softly. Okay, now we're going to go to the other side. See, I think Ollie been stamping way longer than me. <clears throat> okay, now I'm going to start to go lighter, okay, because I'm approaching the moon. Oh, my goodness. Even on that mess of the paper, I think this will great. Okay, now I want to put that on top of this. Oh my. Okay, I look for an happy Halloween. I don't have one, 
So the inside of the cards will be blank. And the winner going to put whatever that they want. Let me look. Uh, I think I get a black paper that's going to work for this. Hmm. Not green. I don't want green. Maybe I don't have, I'm telling you, I use this paper. So I do, I do. Okay. The inside, we're going to put a strip of this <coughs> just to try to blend that. Um, that, I thought about that also, but then um, that's how, when I was looking for the black paper of this, that's when I saw this paper and I said, oh, I need to do a winter one. That's how it all became together. Well, and this one here, when I saw that, I'm like, that's cool, but I wanted a moon. I couldn't do my moon on this, okay? Okay, so let's use dimensional. And I want to lift this up here so it's not right stuck on the, the moon. I see a little bit of the yellow there that I don't like, so I'm going to use my soft suede because the moon really wouldn't go on top of the... It would have the light, maybe, but I want to put a little bit of darkness here. Here we go. Okay. Now, I think I need more of the big... Uh, my out here. One second. Oh, I got a new one here. Okay. So... <coughs> Excuse me. What I'm going to do is I'm going to use one. That's it, okay? Just to start, and you're going to understand why. I want to know exactly where to put this to match my moon. And after that, I'm going to add more. Okay, go there, go there. That's why I wanted the, here we go, that looked very equal. Okay, that's equal, and before I mount more, I want to make sure that my paper is equally, that it don't pass. So here, we're going to chop that up a little bit. It's nothing wrong with giving your paper a little trim, okay? Here we go. So it don't pass, and here it pass over here. Cannot be much, because you don't want to... Okay. Now what I'm going to do is lift this up here, and we're going to put dimensional just at a few place in the back of the trunk so it balance you know it don't cave in Amy I see you're new to stamping up if you don't have a demonstrator I would be more than happy to help you or anybody, really. If you don't have a demonstrator, you're looking at one right here that would love to take care of you and help you with your purchase. Okay, now we get that one there. We're gonna put one there, one there. Those one, the one in the, that I put in the back of the trunk, I don't even remove the backing. My friend Pat told me about that, and I thought, huh, how smart is that? Right? You just need that for the balance, really, or to raise up. Okay, now it's all cockeyed. Let me make sure it is straight. Let me look at the front. It's very straight. Et voila. Okay, we're not done. Now I'm going to use basic black for my... Cover. I'm going to do four and a quarter by uh, 11 
score at five and a half. Let me bring a piece of white just because I don't like to have white just a piece in, in the just one piece because black tend to die inside. Well, not that oh I'm gonna do a vanilla. Um it the black kind of rub off, so I like to do a full insert. So full insert for this type of card, it is four by ten and a half, and score at five and a quarter. Et voila. Now for the insert, the way that I like to put my insert, it is. Take a piece of, you can use tumble glue, you can use tape, whatever you like. You're going to put it right here. Close it. Open it up. Okay, this side didn't have the tape. And I just put it at the top. That's it. Now, I said we're going to use this inside. You're wondering, why am I all finishing this? It's because this is not done here. I want to add something spooky there. I'm going to cut this at one, and then I'm going to cut this at five and a quarter. So whoever is going to win this card, you can put Happy Halloween, Boo, I'm thinking of you, or whatever you want to put, okay? Oh. Well, it's going to be this way, because I thought the other way, but here we go. It's going to be on the long way, okay? Okay, now, here it is. We got, it's called, I don't know what it's called. It's called Pearlized Enamel Effect uh, Basic. Going to use that white one here. I tried the color here. So we got the red, it got the pearl to it. Get the gray, get the white. The white, it's really a pearl, okay? That's gonna be our eyes. But it's gonna take a while to dry. So we're gonna go ahead and put that right here. So that's why I moved from the winter to this, because I was like, need to. You know what, this need something. It won't bow there. One minute. Can always fit with a glue dot or a, a, a dimensional, right? Here we go. Oh, I just love this. Okay, let's see <clears throat> if I can do some eyes without screwing that card up. So, what the, okay. And this is in the mini catalog. Also, like I said, I got um, the description in the description there it is it's someplace around here one minute it's right in front of me my friend I think oh right here no that's the snowflake hmm oh doy I will add my finger on it it's on page 83 there or page 59 okay <clears throat> now we're going to have some spooky eyes in the wood. I could have went darker in my background, but I think that's a good color, though, for to be a full moon, right? I'm looking at the black. Could have been darker, but I think it's good. I think we need more eyes. So three, you know, I like to have odd number. Four, oops, and then we're gonna come right here, just a little one here. Here we go. What do you think? Is that the coolest thing? Oh my goodness. So I'm not putting anything on that. So this one's gonna be, like I said, the, the spooky one, and um, we're going to finish the winter one. So now, this year, when I test this, and know that I'm in Texas, so it's humid here. 
Um, first, when I touch it, it was uh, about 10 minutes. It was still sticky, but I'm going to say about 20 minutes. It was hard, very hard, okay? So that would be good, like, if you want to do a Christmas tree, um, on um, also like a Christmas tree, like for ornament, you can put those dots, that would be awesome. So you can use that for many, many things. I'm glad you guys like it. I, I think that's way cool. Before I forget though, last week card, it was looking at me and I say, you know, I announced the next week, as sending sunshine, that's, you can watch the replay, know that the voice was kind of screwed up a little bit. The one that won, it's Mommy Roo, R-U-E. So, Mommy Roo, please go at FrenchyStamps.com and um, send me your uh, mailing address, and I'm going to mail that to you. Okay, now let's try to finish this one. And for this one, I'm going to go ahead and use... Uh, <clears throat> whoops, whoops, whoops. Um, soft succulent. For the base, going to do the same, four and a quarter by 11, score at five and a half. I am so glad you guys like that card. I think it turned out cute. Absolutely. Okay, now, um, the reason why I get two of this, I'm wondering, yeah, okay, this is going to go inside. So, perfect. <coughs> <coughs> And this one going to go at the top. That's the leftover of this. So I'm going to put that at the top. And I won't put no greeting on this one either. So if you want to put Merry Christmas, if you want to put thinking of you, happy birthday, I think it's going to go for whatever occasion, okay? So this is going to go inside. I'm going to put, though, I think some blink on this one. Let me, uh, I think I want just some rhinestone for this here. Let me reach my rhinestone. Rhinestone cowboy. Where are you, where are you, where are you? Well, am I out? No. Okay. <clears throat> now for this one, this should be perfectly sized, right? So now what we're gonna do, it's let me remove this here. Sometimes I get too much stuff on my desk, and it's impossible for me to even think. Okay. Oh, come on, Susie Q. My goodness. Okay. Where did I? Right here. So, this one here. We're going to go ahead, dimensional. So this one, it's all equally, right? Because we didn't have to stamp a moon. Uh, well, you know what? Back to this, and we're going to use the little one now. So this. That you want to make sure that it don't pass, you know, on any, because you you don't want to see those dimensional through the, the thing. I think that's pretty good here. Okay, I'm going to remove two of them. I find it easier to do the top or the bottom or so on, and then do the other part, okay? Now, I'm going to put that right here, and I'm going to mount that right there. That should do the trick. Make sure I don't pass. See how that simple it was? Now we're gonna remove this. And the reason why you just wanna do the top or the bottom, cause your paper can touch the other place and then it just make a, a boom. Voila. We're gonna put that over here. Very, very cool. I like it. Okay. Get a little bit of fiasco here. Let me, I'm looking for my glue. Here it is. <coughs> and we're going to add some bling because it's, well, kind of a winter Christmas. 
Oh, how sweet of you, uh, Joe, that you would frame it in the, uh, oh, see, I get just barely at the bottom. You know what? Just like when you cut your bang, just be careful not to go, you know, above the eyebrow there. Here we go. I just had a sliver there that, and you could, I bet some of you are gonna say, why not cut the back a little bit smaller? It, that's a catch-22 because you see I barely get any spot there and any spot there. So that's why it's very, or I could do the full size of the card front though, like five and a quarter by, um, five and a half by four and a quarter. Okay, let's add some bling to this. Oh, it's time for another putty here. I have enough? I don't know. We'll see. Oh, yeah. So, like I said, I'm not putting any greeting on this. You guys are going to have to decide what you want to use it for and put the greeting. Here we go. How about that? I think that turned out very lovely. So you see, you can use the three for me. Oh, ding, 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 ding. I didn't think about it. I'm sorry. One minute. Don't panic, friends. Don't panic. One minute. One minute. So you don't want to touch your card. Live and learn from me. Okay, I got Q-tips here. Let me fix that, my friends. Okay. Don't touch the card till it dry. Those signs just get bigger a little bit. That's it. Et voila. Okay. I'm sorry. You're going to have a little smear, maybe. Okay. Don't touch. So here it is. Absolutely. I agree. Many times we try to put everything on the outside, you know. We don't have to have greeting every time. Absolutely not. Et voila. How cool is that? Is that fun? I got, <clears throat> I'm going to wait till it's dry and I'm going to add a little bit of black there. I won't do it now because it's still wet, but voila. So I hope you enjoyed that. I hope the volume was okay tonight. So again, this uh, dye, so the dye, like I said, it matched, let me move that a little bit. It matched the stamp set uh, <clears throat> Uh, perch in a tree so you get this you get the branch and you get the leaves and the bird and so on so it coordinate with that but this really stand by itself like tonight we did and you can qualify uh, for that for free with during celebration with an order of a hundred dollars so let me here we go so I hope you enjoyed this as much as I enjoyed that. I absolutely love that boo one. I think that, I mean, the winter one, it's great too. Um, the more I look at it, you know, I'm my best critic, whatever it's called. Um, I think that, um, what's going on? I think that instead of the green, maybe I would do a light gray with some blue in it try to marbleize that but don't you think this is very spooky i love it look at that so that is it i hope you're enjoying your summer and it's not so hot where you're at and i will see you again next week so till next time happy stamping if you get any question about stamping please contact me i would love to earn your business. Till next time, 
Happy stamping, my friend. Bye-bye for now.